Hey guys, I'm back. I thought I'd make this video to uh, keep you up to date on what I'm doing for so far. So far, uh, after my last video, um, I don't know if I mentioned it, I was going to uh, work on the brake switch uh, and uh, called up to TX Power Sports, told them, so they sent me a new brake switch. Well, they called Ricky Power Sports. They sent me a new brake switch. Um, this is the brake switch right here that comes with the motorcycle. Uh, see, it came apart. I don't know if you can see that. So it's not working. Uh, TX Power Sports is very good. They, uh, they called Ricky Power Sports and they sent me a new brake switch, which came in the mail. Which is this one, which is very different from this one. Um, the problem with this one is too thin, so it slides in. It's supposed to go in here. I don't know if you can see it. Move that out of the way. It's supposed to go in here and hold, but I got no nut underneath to hold it. So, even if I want to, it's either too big, too long. Or maybe I can make it work, I guess. But it won't hold. See, it goes all the way through. And it's too long. If I put it right here, it'll be too long. It won't, it won't work. This one won't work. So, instead of just calling them and telling them to send me a new one, um, I'm going to go ahead and try this out. I've seen it on, online. I ordered one of these. Uh, it's a banjo uh, brake switch. Pressure brake switch. Um, I don't even know if it'll fit. It's on one, what is it, 10 millimeter by 1.25. So hopefully it'll fit. I'm just trying this out. Um, but I'm going to have to take this off. I couldn't, it doesn't come with the crush leaves, the little washers with the, didn't come with it. So I'm hoping I'll be able to reuse these. If not, then I have to uh, order some new ones and wait. Um, since it's so new, I'm just hoping I can reuse them. So we'll see. Um, sorry about that. So this is just what I'm going to do on how to put it on. Uh, for right now, I'm just going to... This is it. It takes a little washer crush sleeve on one side, then your hose, and then this goes in, and you're set. So hopefully it'll work. If not, I'm going to see what else needs to be done. but. So far, this is what I need to do. Um, put that away for right now. Um, first, uh, I'm gonna loosen these screws. Uh, these are screws right here. So, got the other one out. There we go. Now, let's try this banjo bolt. Okay. So, let's measure it. Before we put it on. Everything looks the same to me. Can you see that? Smaller hole. So, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, guys, let me sum it up. Uh, um, so what I did is uh, I took off this. This is the old uh, brake switch. The little hook goes down under there. Um, this top part came off. Tried to put it together again. It didn't work. They sent me a new one, but... It wouldn't fit in this hole. It was too thin, so it was just going through there. So what I did, I thought was probably the cheaper way. Uh, I bought a new banjo pressure 
a switch uh, it goes into your <clears throat> right here into your master cylinder you connect it right here and, and um, what I did is I just put two ends on it and the ends are um, just connect them like that that's it um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some uh, I'm going to put some shrink, uh, some heat shrink right here, so, because it's so close to my uh, exhaust pipe, run it down, and then I'm just going to tie it right, just like that. Just going to run it and tie this right here. All I did right here is I just cut the cable off. I cut the wires here, the boot off here, and I added these ends. I'm just going to put that shrink wrap on them. Hopefully that'll work. Uh, but this is how this one works. You connect it here. And then, uh, let's turn it on. There's a brake, so I'll step on the brake. Lights off, see? Just like that. That's how that works. So. Okay, guys, I'm finished. Uh, put that banjo, that banjo uh, pressure switch, banjo bolt pressure switch uh, on it. Just put some some uh, heat shrink here, a little bit of tape, and just put it together right there. Um, had to take it apart because it was leaking. Uh, I bought some. Buy so much. I call it. Uh, I bought some crusher washers for it to put it on. There you go. Can you see it right there? So it's the new uh, banjo pressure switch or banjo brake light switch. Um, I bought some new washers, some new crusher washers I guess they're made out of uh, copper to put in there um, did not work they were too thin um, this is what it had this. but these washers I'm going to show you it's a little different got like a little plastic can you see that there we go we got rubber in them and they're thicker and um, then the then the crusher ones. Uh, this is one. See, there you can see the difference. There we go. I guess so. Um, this one's thicker, so when I put that uh, banjo bolt in, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't tighten those things, so it would leak. So this goes in like that, and you have another one with the plastic in there. So I thought I'd just show you guys in case you're gonna do the banjo switch. Um, this one comes off. I took the ones that came off of my hand control here, and I put it in there. But I thought I wanted, I wanted to show you guys that those uh, crusher washers, I bought them at, I think at uh, Advanced Auto, didn't work for me, so. But, it's done now. Uh, like I said, I made it work. So, thanks for watching.